eighth grade, I went to Jewish day school. After eighth grade, from ninth grade to twelfth grade, I was in a public high school. I had a traditional bar mitzvah and a, an orthodox shul. The sights were always set to be a successful individual. Seventeen and a half, I came down to the University of Texas in Austin, aspiring to become possibly a doctor and go into my father's practice, or possibly a lawyer, like any good Jewish boy. I always had questions about Judaism. But there's always like a bit of a burning desire within me to find deeper questions answered. There are 50,000 students at the university, 4,000 are Jewish, and the students are very not traditional. We have a, a table with Chabad written all over it, and sometimes there's a student just walking by and looks, and you say hi, and how are you, and you start a conversation. You tell them where we are, who we are, and come for Shabbos. My freshman year, here's a good Jewish boy, 17 and a half, last name Johnson. I step into the Chabad house. Immediately, I was greeted with a big warm smile, and the handshake and the Shabbat Shalom, of course. I remember clearly when he walked in, he went over and I said hello and greeted him and I told him what's going on. The food was great, of course. The songs were very powerful and people were singing and dancing and literally getting out of their seats. It was very exciting for a new student. After the meal, I sat down with the rabbi. He had a lot of heavy questions to ask about our views on different things and so we sat and spoke. And the conversation ended up lasting easily till five in the morning. I'll tell you what really moved me, what was really powerful for me that night. For me as a student at 17 and a half, I was readily able to sleep in till all parts of the day. The Rabbi Levitov was here to stay up with me five o'clock in the morning. Here's a rabbi who has the responsibility of the community and the responsibility of the student community as well. And to have a full day of a minion, and a, a whole meal hosted again by them, and a whole of these activities. And I came to realize the dedication and the sense of responsibility Rabbi Levertov and his family was such a powerful lesson to me. It really it captivated me. Eight years ago, I was a student searching, and now I'm back as a rabbi, as a shliach. A lot of students come and a lot of students are connecting with him. He decided to go and become a rabbi on his own without anybody from the outside pushing him. Actually, we tried to talk him out of it. Are you familiar with this? Yes. Okay, awesome. So you can take oh, no, that. This is actually a Friday light. People come up to us and they ask us any questions of what we're doing on campus, what Judaism is all about. We're here to answer any questions that Jews have on campus and to facilitate any part of their Jewish life that they're looking to get involved with. Parents often come up with their children to also ask questions. Since the first Shabbos we moved, we've been in Chabad House and we've been running Shabbos. And I see that had I not been here and if Chabad House wasn't open, that there would be 30, 40 students who wouldn't have had a place to go for Shabbos. Friday night would have been down on 6th Street at the bars. Sometimes we don't think about the impact that it makes on a person. To us, it seems so small. But to other people, it's, you know, it's, it's worlds, it's everything. I never had the privilege of meeting the Rebbe. But you see the Rebbe through the Shluchim. You see the, the smile of the Shliach, you see the smile of the Rebbe. You see the dedication of the Shliach and you see the dedication and the message of the rabbi. This is where he belongs. This is the essence of who my husband is. He's a shliach. That's it, it's the only word to describe him. He is an example of the impact that shluchim have had on this world, have had on the communities that they go out to. Sometimes they don't even realize what they do. And had the Lover's Hubs not been here, he probably wouldn't have started on this whole amazing path for himself. 
the fact that the Shluchim go out and they dedicate their lives to other Yidin and bring them closer to Yiddishkeit, it's, it's continuing the Jewish people. There's no other way to put it.